Only playable with a mouse. Oh, oh, we'll put that to the test. So, alright, this is a cool little game. Frick Incorporated. I mean, kind of, the main draw is to obviously be, you know, kind of clunky controls that you only use the mouse to interact with. So, you know, like you have to hover down, start the engine, your throttle. Forward, and you know, then turn. I just wanted to take that as a little challenge. I just picked this up yesterday. I'm probably not going to play it like this, but this was just more an exercise to see could it be done, and just to show, you know, if you're determined enough, you can do some pretty crazy things. So, you know, instead of having to hover down, I'm just going to press X. All right, let's uh, give it a neutral. So I'm just going to press X, and we started. Left, right, up, there, up, down. The, uh, the placement of that is a little off, but, you know, it's working. I'm tapping up down A B so we're, we're we're doing it so all right let's um starting from scratch we start we're gonna go forward excel a little bit Get the bonus. Go reverse. Throttle up. Okay. Forward. Come on. And stop. Now, before I dive into the control, I mean, just as an example of why I'm not going to use this method. So, okay, here's where it kind of falls apart. So, X to start. Throttle forward. Switch to the other, and then see, like, the controls all change. But I could end up making another action layer or a set, but anyways, I mean, that's just... Like I was saying, I probably wouldn't play the game like this, but I just wanted to show... It's a pretty cool little, you know, fun little game. I haven't played it much yet, but alright, let's go back. So what I have going on... It's a combination of move cursor... Let's turn that off. And... Turn that off. All right. So what I have is a combination of move mouse cursor and mouse delta. So this is moving it. Yeah, like the, the the cursor move isn't exactly where I need it to be, which is a frustration too. Like I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't push this and make it a public profile because the move cursor changes based on if it's a windowed game and where that is on your screen. 
the resolution. It's it's tied to your monitor, which is frustrating. Which is why you'll almost never see any of my public profiles using mouse cursor. Mouse region can have that. Yeah, mouse region has that problem too. But all right. So what we have going on is. Well, like for start engine, that was just a simple multi-button binding of move cursor and then left mouse. So I just click move cursor. I'm going to put it right over that. Press A. Turn to the old position. Press Y to toggle multi-button and go left mouse. So now wherever I have the mouse, it goes there. I let go, it puts the mouse back where I had it. Yeah, and then turn left and right. That was moving the cursor to center point of the steering stick. Then a little bit of a fire start delay moving the cursor over to the left with left mouse. And then the opposite for the right. So when I push it, it moves it here and then pushes it over here. And then the same with the right. So it moves it, moves it. And then for the uh, up and down, I was doing... Yeah, see, it's just, it's because it starts too low. That's the problem. So I take it down, then up. And that's delta, so I could hold it as a turbo and it would keep moving. And that's, I'm doing the same thing on A. That's a turbo delta, turbo delta. So it's going to keep moving it. <laughs> So I move the cursor to that area, and then and at engage left mouse, mouse delta on a turbo, and the delta is just minus 10 on the y-axis. So that, like if we take, yeah, if I just take, make that empty, It moves it, and then as long as I'm holding it, it's just moving it 10 degrees. And it's going to keep on going. And then the same B was just the opposite. And that's really it. And like I was saying, I mean, it's not perfect. I was really, I just kind of challenged myself to do this last night. It's that. It's when this is... Yeah, when it's in the middle, I can't do the cursor. It's because uh, it's because I'm using that mouse delta, so I made throttle up start the cursor down here in case the throttle was down, so it can push it up from the reverse slot. So yeah, it's just it's some of the timing, but I mean it's <laughs> it is pretty cool that I was able to do that. I have all of it's in there. Just boom. <laughs> Let's go take it down. Whoa, it's full speed. I wasn't paying attention. Let's go reverse. Yeah, and then for this one, I would have to kind of take the same approach, and you'd have to mouse cursor move here, then delta up down, mouse cursor here, delta up down, mouse cursor here. Is that... Uh, see, I kind of go back and forth between... Okay, so that one, yeah, if it, if it has more than just one specific gradation, one specific uh, slot. 
So this one is several. So I would do a little delta nudge, delta nudge, delta nudge, delta nudge. But for this, I might just do mouse cursor move left and right. Yeah, and I'm not sure if there's more than just these two vehicles, too. But that's beside the point. I keep kind of repeating that same thing. It was really just to... I was just curious. Could, could this approach work? And it does. I think you're kind of taking something away from the game, though, when you do that. Because, you know, the challenge of it is to just be fighting these controls. Yeah, that, that, that's really it. Just don't tell me I can only play with a mouse. I'll show you. It was a fun little challenge. So, all right, that's all I got. I will see you around. And now, meet the star of our show. Symbol of a treat that quality made famous. America's most famous ice cream treat. Eskimo pie. Creamy, delicious ice cream made even more exciting with smooth, rich chocolate coating. And wearing the label of quality known the world over. Eskimo pie. The treat you know is tops because it carries its pledge of quality right on the back of the bag.